What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Sam Riley Sports Network and today we're going to be talking about the possibility of Josh Rosen being traded uh, from the Arizona Cardinals to the Miami Dolphins. Now, I saw a lot of people on Twitter talking about how they didn't want to trade for Josh Rosen if it was a first round pick. I have my own arguments for that but then there was also a report that the Cardinals would be willing to trade for a third round pick which is a little bit low. It's a, on, a, way, a little bit low. It's way on the wayside there uh, especially for Josh Rosen because look we saw Josh Rosen for one year. We saw Jared Goff for one year until they fell under the right system. And all of a sudden, Jared Goff is worth all these picks to a lot of people. Right? Now, we're seeing the same thing happen with Josh Rosen. He had one bad year with an O-line that couldn't block. With a coach that wasn't an offensive coach. Didn't seem ready to be a head coach. Although, I thought he was fired a bit too early. Uh, and then also, it seems like now a coach, a head coach that doesn't want him and would prefer Kyler Murray. So he's in this, you know, conundrum, I guess you could say, where he's kind of the odd one out, where he's the left, you know, he's the odd one out. He's being left out of a lot of things. So now you have to kind of figure out what to do about that if you're Josh Rosen. And you can't because he's under contract for the next three to four years with the fifth year option. So realistically, for another four years, he's under contract. And the Cardinals could just do whatever they want. Uh, they keep saying that he's our quarterback for now. They're not acknowledging that he could not be their quarterback in a little bit. He's, they're not acknowledging that he could eventually get traded. So it makes you think, are they going to trade him? And if they're going to trade him, should the Dolphins jump onto that bandwagon? Should the, Dol should the Dolphins be a team to get onto that and trade for Josh Rosen? I'm one that believes yes. If you trade a first-round pick, you were probably going to draft a quarterback at number 13 anyways. It's probably going to be a guy like Drew Locke or this or this or that. And it'll be a little bit less than Rosen, who was picked at 10. You would get that person at 13. But you're going to do it anyways. Why not get a guy who you're going to have under contract for another four years, who's already seen some NFL stuff, who's already had a year, who looked not great but also not horrible, who you can continue to bring down the path and have under your system. Or if the asking price is really a third-round pick, Throw a third round pick. We wasted a third round pick on Leonte Carew. Now, granted, sometimes the third round picks work out, but sometimes they don't. You know, Corey J. Tangersley, Leonte Carew, two guys, third round picks that didn't really work out for the Miami Dolphins. Then you got, well, Corey J., we're still kind of the, the you know, the jury's still out on Corey J. Tangersley, but on Leonte Carew, I think we're all kind of, you know, all in the same space here. It looks like Leonte Carew is just kind of a special teams guy, but. A third round pick for Josh Rosen is nothing. It's literally nothing. And if you spend a third round pick, you have him for a year. It looks like he doesn't develop at all. And next year you do the master plan. You draft a guy like Tua Tagovailoa or you draft Fromm or you draft, I can't remember his name, Herbert. You draft a guy like that. Uh, although I think Fromm comes out two years from now, not next year. Um, but you draft one of those. No, it is next year. You draft one of those guys. Um, in the first round. So you didn't waste the first round pick. All you gave was a third round pick and you got a quarterback that you could see for a year in your system. If he's worth it, then guess what? You don't have to spend the first round pick on a quarterback. You spend a third round pick on a quarterback and you have him for cheap and you have him in your system for another three years with the fifth year option. You have the rights to him if you want. So you can tag him as much as you want. You can put a tender on him if you choose to. You can do anything. Transition tag, all this other stuff, right? Most likely you pay him if he's worth what you know we think he's worth so i think it's a smart idea like i said i think that josh rosen didn't get really a chance to kind of prove himself he was behind a horrendous offensive line um i believe he was sacked um, i think one of the most sacked quarterbacks in the nfl the offense that they were running was just not fit for josh rosen and i feel like the cardinals kind of just picked rosen to pick him if that makes any sense i feel like they went up and chose rosen because they felt like they needed a quarterback instead of seeing or waiting to see what could happen in that scenario. And they just weren't ready. And it wasn't the right quarterback for their system. It wasn't the right quarterback for their coach. And it looks like Steve Kime and Coach Cliff Kingsbury are now going to be on that Kyler Murray train. It could just all be fake and Bosa could be going to the Cardinals. But it looks like Kyler Murray is going to go number one to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, when does... Josh Rosen get traded because then that would be the thing. Does Josh Rosen get traded? And if he does, where? I think it could be the Dolphins. If not the Dolphins, maybe the Raiders or the Redskins. A lot of people have been talking about the Redskins, hopping on the Redskins trade, but I think those are three teams that he could possibly go to. The Raiders, the Redskins, and the Dolphins. 
Personally, as a Dolphins fan, I would love to see him a part of the Miami Dolphins because I liked Rosen coming out of school last year. I thought he was well worth a first-round pick. And I thought that if we're going to get Rosen for a third, let's say, if those are the reports, if that's possible, hell yeah, you throw a third-round pick out there for Josh Rosen. If it's a, four, a first... I would still throw a first round pick out there, but yeah, I would still throw a first or maybe try to throw two seconds, but I would do it. I would definitely trade for Josh Rosen for a first round pick or two seconds or just a third in general, whatever the asking price is, I start there and then you kind of figure yourself out, but I would do that. Hope you guys did very much enjoy this video, video back onto the normal uh, schedule. Make sure you guys listen to the Just Start podcast on Wednesdays at the Pro Football Network and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, peace.